Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, this video is about we're reacting to the Steelers top 10 plays of 2022. So we're gonna react to that. And I usually do reaction videos like that, but I might start doing a little bit more. I know some highlight ones in the off season and stuff. But we're gonna react to some of the top 10 plays uh, from the Pittsburgh Steelers YouTube channel and see how it goes. So let's get into it. Okay guys, let's get into the first play, which is, I guess they start from 10. So we're gonna see the first play is, and it's the Falcon game. It's probably the Najee Harris stiff one, most likely. Let's see. Harris. Number 10. Najee Harris. Get off of me. Wow. Yeah, you know, Na Najee Harris is nothing but a straight beast. He's an absolute beast. He's a freak of nature. He got his stride later in the season. Um, Early in the season, you know, had that metal plate. They was playing with like, around his foot. And the Liz Frank injury it was a bad injury. Where Travis ETN missed the whole season from that injury last year. It's a um, very tough injury. You can't really explode like you want to and do the things you want to. And when we seen that early in the year, we were wondering why Najee was kind of dance too much instead of using his power. And once he got his footing back underneath him, no pun intended, Najee went crazy. And you see him doing crazy plays like this. A lot of stiff forms. That Panther game has some big stiff forms. He's just going crazy. And he pit Miles Garrett on the ground too. That was a nice stiff form as well. Let's move on to the next play. That was a big time player of Najee Harris. Big time play. It's stiff for him. It's, for yeah, get him off of me. Okay, number nine. Another Falcon I like. Oh, this Pat Fryer move. Pat Fryer move. This right here. If got to remove the way, I think Pat Fryer move by the score. Yeah, that, that was a nice play by Pat Fryer move. A big time play by Pat um, going out there and balling out. I feel like if Gunner removed out the way, Pat would have probably scored because Gunner. I thought because like he got he kind of slowed him down a little bit. I felt like he would have scored. That would have been a sixty. I think it was a sixty-eight yard play. If I'm not mistaken. But Gunner kind of slowed him down a little bit. If he went the way, that would have been a big time play right there. But it still was a great play. Now moving on to the Tampa Bay game. This is um week eight. This is Steven Sims, right? Yep. Steven Sims getting loose. He was so close so many times to running things back, running one back. I thought he had this one. The guy was coming to the end. He kind of ran ran a gas a little bit. They called him in the end. But Steven Sims had a lot of like he had a lot of like big time like returns. Like he almost like he was coming close and nearing like bringing them back home and like cribbing them. Steven Sims, hey, I think this year he might can get one. He might can get one. I see a pump return one for sure. Like that. The field um getting a little shorter. It's a little tougher though, but this field game is shorter. But the kick return one, I think he need to get he need to get him one. He can't close many, many times. Ray McClown came close so many times as well. Um he was with the Steelers. I think the last time he had a um, return was the Dante Johnson one with the Cardinals. Remember the little one he had? And um, my Tomlin said, that's why I was drafting you. That's why I set up in nighttime um, look thing by drafting you just because of that. I think uh, DC Johnson had a big-time play um, against the Cardinals. That's, I think it was probably his best game of that year. His rookie year had the touchdown, too. And then the nice play, we hit the reverse. We came back. You no know, big-time play. We move on to the, um, the next play. Week 7 against the Raiders. Not Week 7, but Week 11 against the Bengals. I, I saw all white. That was the Raiders. Hurdle over Najee Harris, the big time run. Najee Harris being explosive late in the season, going crazy. That was, that was a nice one right there. That was a nice play. Right there, nice play. Getting up and over. Najee is very athletic. Very athletic. The, the great, the uh, ultimate combination of power and the skill and speed, everything together. The Bengals, remember the block? Yeah, that's week one. We, we, actually, we actually should have lost that game. We should have lost that game against the Bengals week one, but we pulled off the miracle. I guess we used all our energy on that because after that we went like what <laughs> two and seven or something, but we pulled it out in the end. But that game right there was crazy. That game right there, I think you guys, some of you guys was um, with me watching it, um, reaction. I was doing a live reaction, the watch party, and that game was crazy. That game was very crazy. Um, the the block, the missed kicks and the block um, PATs and just the crazy things happening, having five turnovers and stuff. It was one of the most wackiest, craziest, most exciting um, uh, opening games I've seen. Like that, it was very crazy. Very intense. But Mickey Fitzpatrick, that man right there is an absolute baller. An all-pro, three-time all-pro, first-team all-pro. He's is that. That's the best, one of the best trades in Steelers history, if not the best trade. Okay, another one. I'm trying to see what plays this can be. DJ Johnson, one-handed catch. Yep. DJ, one-handed catch. Ah, nice. DJ one handed catch. Look at Najee face. He's like, oh, what the heck? He caught that. But yeah, DJ one handed catch was nice. Like that. And I know a lot of people are saying they want DJ to get traded, but I feel like keep them together. You know, he's um, been balling. He's showing you he can be a pro, he's a pro bowler. He's showing you can catch 100 passes. I don't look at him as an elite receiver, 
But I look at him as a, a good receiver. And maybe he can work his way to being elite. But I look at him as a good receiver. A guy you can definitely win with. And we, as we've seen in the past before. But that was an amazing catch by DJ. Going up there and getting it. The one-hand snag. It looked like he was out at first. But I already saw the replay. It was like, ah. He tapped both of them in. Boop, boop. That was nice right there. I would say toe drag swag. But that's a little more like toe tap. But it's the um, game winning touchdown. George Pickens. Nice play by Kenny Pickett. If that ball is thrown... Too early, it might get picked. It's thrown too late, it might get. It probably would get picked as well. Had to time it perfectly, and he ran the route perfectly. The time was perfectly. He dropped back and got out of it, and just zipped it to him. Amazing play, amazing chemistry, and these guys are gonna be the future of the Steelers. They're gonna be going crazy. I can already see it. We can already see it like that. Then the little signature wave, waving them goodbye and stuff. It said tied with third. Okay, and this is the Mika Fitzpatrick pick six. No, this is oh CJ Wyatt pick. I mean, Fitzpatrick had to pick, I guess, in the, um, the um, beginning of the game, first quarter. T.J. Watt had to, he had, he had two picks that season, too, T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt, the little shooting the air with the guns, with the um, the ball and stuff. That right there is amazing athleticism. A guy that size doing that. Oh, yeah, this is this is his second pick right here, T.J. Watt. He just loved picking off Burrow. He's like, hey, give me that. <laughs> Bro, he told, he told Baker Mayfield last year, he's like, hey, yeah, throw it higher. Throw it higher like that. Yeah, you might have to throw it a little higher. CJ Wyatt, throw it in the air. <sighs> Making some big time plays. CJ Wyatt, that man is a beast. That man is a generational talent. And will finish as one of the best, if not the best, pass rusher in Steelers history. You no, know, Mean Joe Green is a, amazing, so he got a long way to go to he, he reset that. Can he pick it? Big time play. Where him and Najee going in for the um the win. And I think Najee grabbed the the fan flag and like that and pulled it down, but that game right there was crazy, you know. That, that, that showed me like they can't pick it, and this young, you know, George Pickens, Najee, and all those guys, they can be clutch. They can um deliver when the pressure is on. Season is on the line. Your winning season is on the line, and also your playoff hopes is on the line as well. All that and coming to play. You playing your division rivals. They beat you already. You don't want to get swept. All that pressure and all those narratives are floating around, and to go out there and deliver a game winning drive. And what's crazy, can he pick it kind of ran a little bit into the pressure a little bit. But he's so athletic and so smooth and know what he's doing. He got out and just delivered and found Najee. Amazing play, big time play. Big time play. But give me that flag. <laughs> that, was nice right, that was nice right there. And he had two guys open, so if Najee didn't catch it, Sims would have caught it. Somebody won't catch it. But that was a nice play right there. Look, he had two guys open. Najee didn't catch it, Sims would have caught it. Nice play. Big time play. And that was on Rokon Smith, too. All pro Rokon Smith. I wish he was a stealer. That man is a beast, too. He's nice. He's nice. And then the um, I'm looking at both screens. It's a computer screen and a TV screen. I got it on both. You guys wondering. Mr. Bisky, this is the George Pickens one-handed catch, right? Okay, I got a question for you guys. You know, people had that question going around. Odell catch, George Pickens catch. Which where, where do it lands? Like that. Oh, and Justin Jefferson catch. Those probably three of the best catches I've seen over the past like. Probably six or seven years. And we see some crazy catches and like some some on one handed snags and nice snags. But that catch right there, the way he did that, and like the tore his body that way, and Odell catch the big time plays. But the Justin Jefferson catch, the implications on that catch too, just throwing the ball up is four down and went up to snag it. So I don't know which one is better in my opinion. I feel like I feel like this one is tougher, and I feel like the Odell one is look cooler. And I feel like the um, Justin Jefferson one is more gutsy. Like, it's more gutsy because it's fourth down and you have to have it like that. So, I don't know exactly which one is better, but that right there um, is a, a big debate. That was an amazing catch. Because, like, the tor yeah, look this way. Helmet restriction already. You look this way over your shoulder. And to come down with it and survive the ground as well. Amazing amazing catch. Big time catch by um, George Pickens. But that's that's um it. That's the last one. That's it for the video. Um... If you guys want to see more reaction videos, me reacting to some more highlights, it might get copyrighted. Hopefully, it don't get blocked, though. You know, in the NFL, they copyright the stuff. As long as it don't get blocked, we're good. But if you guys want to see me react to anything else, any more still the highlights of the season, Mickey Fitzpatrick highlights is on the screen right now. If you want to see me react to that, let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.